Hey guys, this is Nick from Inter Martial Arts. In this video, we're going to go over sword wraps. First, we'll go over the inside sword wrap, which is a block and a cut, and then the outside sword wrap, which is a cut and a prepare. Please enjoy. So to start out with the inside wrap, you want your feet about shoulder width apart. Hold the sword in your right hand, and with your left hand, make sure your fingers are together and your thumbs in tight. So it's gonna, I'm going to place the sword right on my uh, right shoulder. So from here, I'm going to cut inside, place my left hand right underneath my right elbow, turn my sword over, and then use my left hand to lift my elbow up over my head. Then I'm going to let the sword ride across my shoulder blade just behind me as I cut through and finish. So I'll do this again. From here, I'm going to cut horizontally, place my left hand underneath my right elbow. My sword's going to turn over lift the sword up, let the sword touch my shoulder blade as it's behind me, and then I'm going to cut through here. Now, a few things to remember while we're doing this is make sure your cuts are completely horizontal. A lot of people make the mistake to cut downwards and you're not really cutting anything then. You wanna make sure you're cutting kind of like right at your chest level when you're doing a single one. So from here, cutting, lifting, around, and cut through horizontally. Now, when you're doing multiple, you want to bring the sword really close to your body and cut along the, the, the height of the neck. So from here, if I'm going to do multiple, see that, it's right around the neck level. Now look at how close the sword is to my body. When I'm, I'm gonna do a single one here, you can see that it's very close to my body, so I'm definitely not very far away. So again, close to the body, and then, if I'm going to do multiple, you can see how close it is. It's, it's very, very close uh, to my body. Now, a few things to remember when, when doing this technique. Uh, first of all, again, make sure your cuts are very horizontal. That's something that's very important to keep in mind. Number two, use your left hand to lift that sword. Your right hand's already doing a lot of horizontal work. Let your left hand do the vertical work, just like that. Number three, make sure that sword is touching your back. That's very, very important. It's very easy to let the sword get far away. Now you're turning into a swashbuckling pirate. It's not exactly a wushu technique. And number four, keep it very close as you're moving. So to start with the outside wrap, you want to start with your sword hand underneath your left arm, your, your fingers together, make sure your thumbs are tight, and place your arm on top of your right kind of shoulder area, just right here. Now when you're cutting, again, make sure you, that cut is completely horizontal as you open both arms. Again, from here, cut out here. Now watch, I'm going to bring the sword behind me. So I'm going to keep this sword going around behind me, and then I'm going to lift my sword arm, and my left arm is going to drop. They're kind of mirroring each other. Notice how my arm bends as it gets to the top. As I wrap around, I'm going to bring my left hand to my chest, wrap around, and press forward. Now this ending position is important. You can see how the blade is on my hip and the guard is sitting just a few inches behind my waist. If this is hard to do high up, you can bring the sword down just a little bit so that way you don't put too much strain on your shoulder. You're going to press forward with the side of your hand, not your palm. So again, from the top, I have my right arm underneath, I'm going to open up, cut, place the sword on your back. Notice how my left hand is mirroring my right. And as I push through, this sword is about an inch, two inches away from my wrist. It definitely does not feel good to hit your wrist on the, back, on the uh, spine of the blade. So again here, cutting, open, wrap around, and press. Then to start up again, you're going to place the sword underneath your left arm, and bend your arm, place it on your right shoulder, and cut again, open and push through. Notice where the cut is. I'm cutting straight across the chest here. Here, open and push through. I'll show you one more time. Open and push through. Now, a few things to remember. First, remember to make sure that cut is horizontal. That's very, very important. 
The next one is make sure the sword is touching your back. You do not want the sword to wrap around big again than your swashbuckling pirate instead of practicing an actual wushu technique. And the third one is to make sure your left hand is mirroring your right hand. Just like that. So use a mirror to help you with at least those two, the horizontal cut and to make sure your left hand is mirroring your right. practice both the inside and the outside wrap that starts out just like this so you have your hand at your waist your hand out just like you have finished the outside wrap you're going to tuck your left hand in and place it underneath your right elbow and do an inside wrap you're going to cut end up with the sword underneath your left arm and you open up all the way around do an outside wrap and press just like that and look at that we're right back to the beginning again so you can tuck your left hand in wrap around cut open and press and again here open cut open and press just like that you can get some decent speed going uh, but first just a few things to remember first is as you're tucking underneath be careful try not to slam your elbow into the sword so have the sword hand out far enough so your elbow uh, can clear the uh, spine of the blade. As you wrap around, find your back with the spine of the sword as quickly as you can. So you can wrap around and cut. Be careful when you hit your side. You are gonna hit your lat muscle here as you come around. Uh, just be careful so you can get kind of used to that feeling. And then as you open up again, wrap around and press forward here. Uh, last thing to remember is when the sword's behind your back, do not slow down. The sword should be moving the same speed, whether it's behind you or in front of you. So you definitely don't want something like, you see that it's clearly slower when it's behind me. So again, from here, wrap around, cut, open up, wrap around again. If you wanna go slower, wrap around. See it's going at a regular pace, cut. See my cut's much slower now and forward again. That way, it's smooth, going at the same speed, whether it's in front of you or behind you. Just like that, okay?